In this video, we are going to build a crew of agents using the Crew AI command line interface, or CLI. After we build our crew, we're going to layer on a tool called Agent Ops for monitoring them. If you want to follow along, you'll only need two things installed on your computer, Docker Desktop and VS Code. Docker Desktop allows us to run these little mini computers on top of our actual computer, aka our laptop or desktop. And inside of these little mini computers called Dev Containers, we can experiment with new software. As you'll soon see, using dev containers for doing software development is a great way to stay organized. VS Code, on the other hand, is a code editor. Think of VS Code as Microsoft Word, but for viewing and editing code instead of documents. After installing VS Code, you'll also need to install two VS Code plugins or extensions, namely the Docker extension and the dev containers extension. Both Docker Desktop and VS Code are free and offer support for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Let me show you how I installed them onto my Mac so you get a feel for how easy it was for me. But if you run into issues, I suggest leaving a comment or pasting detailed descriptions of what you're running into into either Google or ChatGPT. Here's how to download and install Docker Desktop on Mac. Go to the official download page, download the appropriate version. For me, this is Apple Silicone. Open the downloaded DMG file and drag and drop the docker.app icon into your applications folder. I've already done this, so I'll click stop, but that's it. It's that easy. And here's how to download and install VS Code on Mac. Go to the official download page, download the appropriate version. For me, this is Apple Silicone. Unzip the downloaded zip file and drag the Visual Studio Code.app icon into your Applications folder. I've already done this, so I'll click Stop, but that's it. It's that easy. After installing VS Code, you'll need to do one last thing. Open VS Code and come over to the Extensions Marketplace on the side menu, and you'll need to install two extensions. A, the Docker extension. You can search for it in the search bar, and once you find it in the panel, and click on it and then you'll see these buttons right here you can click to install it should only take one click it's that simple b you'll need the dev containers extension you should see some buttons right here and you can just click to install it super simple and that should be all the setup you need here we go from scratch aka an empty project this is the first set of files that we're going to add to this empty project First, we're going to add a folder by the name of .dev container. Inside of this folder, we're going to place a file called devcontainer.json. And at the root of the project, we're also going to create a file called dockerfile.dev. These files are related to Docker and will configure a little mini machine or dev container that runs on top of our base machine. This is the content that we're going to use to populate these files. This is what we'll paste into the devcontainer.json file. Let me expand this. And here is the content we will paste into the dockerfile.dev. These files will make sense shortly. Now that we have these files added, let's build or launch our mini computer or dev container. Before we do that though, let's take a quick look at the Docker desktop UI and we can notice there's no containers running. And let's also set up a timer so that we can time how long it takes to build this dev container. So if we come back to VS Code, here's how we launch the dev container. So We'll type shift command P that'll open up this command palette as it's so called. And you'll find an option in the menu called dev containers reopen in container. This menu option will only be available if you have the dev containers extension installed. We'll click enter and quickly start the timer. And let's see how long it takes. Is that it? 
took less than 10 seconds for me. But yeah, I would say on average, building a dev container usually takes about like one minute, maybe three minutes. It depends on the details of your machine and how much software you're packing into the dev container. The next thing to notice is in the Docker desktop UI, remember before we had no container showing, but now you can see we do have a container showing. Let's run a little smoke test on this dev container to make sure it behaves as we expect. So because Crew AI is a Python based tool, let's make sure we have Python installed. We do Python 3.12. This aligns with line one of the dockerfile.dev. This is configuring the mini machine to come installed with Python 3.12. And let's make sure that we can execute Python code on this dev container. Let's create a little hello world script and see what happens when we pass it to the Python interpreter. And that works. Let's delete this main.py script because we won't need it moving forward. And the last little smoke test that we'll do is confirm the location that we're in on the dev container. And we can see that we're at the root of the file system in a folder called code. If we were to look at the root of the file system on our base machine, we would see no folder called code. The mental model to keep in mind is that we have two machines running on our computer. We have the dev container and we have the base machine. Both of these machines have independent file systems and are capable of having completely different software installed. Moving forward, we're going to be working in the dev container. And once we're done with this walkthrough, we're going to kill the dev container along with all the software that we install on it and our base machine will be left clean. Now that we have a solid foundation, let's install crew from the Python package index, AKA PyPy. Let's type this command, pip install crew AI equals equals 0.67.1. This is the latest version as of the time of recording. After installing the crew AI package, we can use the crew AI CLI like so. I don't know what's going on here, but here is the crew AI CLI menu. And you can see the crew AI CLI offers commands for doing training, for replaying sessions that you've had with your crew and of particular note or importance to us, there is this create command for creating crews. So because we're going to be creating a acclaimed group of musicians to help us write a hit song, let's enter the following command. Crew AI create crew hit music only. Hit music only is the name of our project or crew. This is customizable. You can put whatever you want here. In the console, we can see all of these generated files and folders. And this is great because using the CLI saves us time from having to create all these files and folders manually ourselves. And also note how all these files and folders were created within this folder in our project. These files that were generated adhere to the guidelines of Python poetry. Python poetry is a popular Python framework that has gained a lot of traction over the past few years. The other thing to note is that if we dig a little deeper, we can see that we actually have a working crew called the hit music only crew in this code. And at the moment, this crew consists of a researcher agent and a reporting analyst agent. Because all of these generated files were added in a subfolder of our project root and not the project root itself, we have a very minor technical tweak that we have to perform. And the way that we do this little tweak is by coming over to the dev container.json file and adjusting the workspace folder key. 
Here is the updated value that we will specify. We'll put the name of our generated crew AI project. And because this is an update to the configuration of the dev container, we actually have to rebuild the dev container. As a reminder, the specs of the dev container are determined by the content we put inside of the dev container.json and dockerfile.dev files from step one. There are a couple of ways that we can perform this rebuild, but for simplicity, we're going to do it like this. Let's come over to the Docker desktop UI, stop our dev container, and then delete it. We might have been able to just delete it right away, but anyways, I chose to shut it down first and then delete it. So here we are deleting it, right? So if we come back to VS Code, VS Code's like, what happened? Dev container is no longer here. You know, it's like an error, right? So anyways, let's cancel this and close VS Code. And the way we're gonna reopen it is by opening the project folder, just like we would open any other coding project with VS Code. So, I'll open it on the command line, but you can do this via the GUI as well. But I'm going to navigate to the project folder we've been working in, and then open this project folder with VS Code like so. And because we placed this dev container.json file in the appropriate location, VS Code picks up that we would like to open a dev container. And this is courtesy of the dev containers VS code extension. So that pop-up went away, but there's a button on it. You can click to trigger the rebuild of the dev container, but we can also trigger the rebuild by going to the command palette and selecting this option, dev containers reopen in container. So we'll select that and we should be directly in the poetry project, right? And that is the case. If we come to the terminal on the dev container and check out where we are on the file system, you can see we're no longer in the code folder, but we're in the code slash hit music only folder. So the reason why we did this is because we want VS code to play nicely with our poetry project. If VS code opens at the project root, our poetry product is nested one folder down. So VS code has a process when it launches where it tries to detect the type of project being opened. And now it can detect that our product is a Python poetry product and it'll give us some extra nice to have features that will enhance our developer experience. That's why we did this, but check this out. Let's open the crew AI CLI menu again. But what happened? It's saying, crew AI command not found, but we installed it, right? So what happened was when we rebuilt the dev container, it lost some of its state or it lost its state, I should say. So you can shut down and turn on and shut down and turn on a dev container and that will preserve its state. But if you rebuild the dev container, it will lose its state. So now what we have to do is reinstall crew AI. FYI, if we want to avoid reinstalling the crew AI package each time we rebuild the dev container, we can edit the dockerfile.dev, but let's not worry about that for now and move forward. Okay, we're back in the hit music only subfolder, right? So the present working directory is slash code slash hit music only. We're almost ready to run the crew, but we have to do one last thing before we do so, because this code is based on the Python poetry framework, we have to run the standard poetry setup or install process. So let's time this just for reference. And the first command we got to type or we got to enter rather is this one. And the second one is Poetry install. 
Let's see how long this takes. I think why this poetry setup process took so long was because this generated crew AI project comes with tools and crew AI seems to have many tools. I looked on their website and they have tools for connecting to databases, for scraping websites, for searching YouTube, etc. If you're not familiar with the term tools in the context of agent development, tools are the integrations made between our agents and the outside world. Now let's run our crew. And then it looks like the crew started to run, but then an error was thrown. And we can see here the error is related to a missing API key. And to be exact, a missing OpenAI API key. So believe it or not, we're actually in really good shape. So Crew AI by default uses OpenAI for powering the agents in a crew. Crew AI supports other LLMs as well, but like I said, by default, it uses OpenAI. Before we add our OpenAI API key to the project and fix this error though, let's recap what's happened up till this point. First, we started from scratch, AKA an empty folder. We then set up a dev container, which is like a little mini computer that runs on top of our laptop or desktop, or whatever we're using. Then we installed the crew AI package from PyPy in order to use the crew AI CLI. Then we generated a crew AI project called hit music only. Then we noticed how the generated project was placed into a subfolder. And because we wanted our VS code editor to play well with this generated poetry based project, we had to adjust the configuration of our dev container to open the generated subfolder when launching. So we edited the dev container.json config and rebuilt our dev container. After the new dev container finished launching, we were placed directly into the generated poetry project, which allowed VS Code to give us some extra nice to have development features like import inspection and syntax highlighting. Then because our dev container lost its state after being killed, we had to reinstall the crew AI package. We then ran the standard poetry setup process, AKA pip install poetry followed by poetry install. And after the poetry setup process completed, we ran our crew AI project and successfully launched our default crew of agents before they aired out due to missing access credentials when trying to connect to open AI. I hope this makes sense. Let's now move forward by adding an open AI API key to our project. Connecting a crew AI project with open AI is simple. All we have to do is come over to platform.openai.com and sign up. If this is a new account for you, you will need to add some credits to your account. OpenAI system is usage based. It's like a gas station. So you will need some credits to use it. You can always add more later. So I recommend adding the minimum amount. And after you have that set up, look for the section that reads API keys. I found it in the dashboard section, right on the sidebar, there's this API keys option. And we can click this button here to open up a little modal for configuring some aspects of this API key. Let's just leave it default, then click create secret key. And then we'll be given an API key that we can use to connect our crew AI project with the open AI platform. The way we add it to our project is like, so inside of the poetry project at the root, there is this .env file. Let's make sure that this file includes a line that reads in all caps, open AI underscore API underscore key equals, then we will paste in the value that we copied from open AI. After we have that set up, let's run our crew again and hopefully everything works. So we'll type crew AI run. And there goes the researcher. And this is the output generated by the researcher. And that output got fed into the analyst. And this is the final report generated by the analyst. So no, we were able to run our crew successfully. So that's great. Let's now customize our crew by replacing the default agents and the default tasks that were given to us when we generated the project. We can do that by coming over to the source, hit music only, or whatever your product's name is, config folder. And inside of the config folder, we should see a file called agents.yaml. 
you can see by default, we were given a researcher agent and a reporting analyst agent. Let's replace these agents with the following agents, a songwriter agent and a producer agent. You can see for each of these agents, we're outlining its role, goal, and backstory in natural language. And there are other properties that we can supply, but if you want to learn about those, go to KuAI's documentation. Let's now update the tasks that will be assigned to our agents by coming over to the tasks.yaml file. And you can see this is the list of tasks that was provided to us by the KuAI CLI. Here we have a research task followed by a reporting task. By default, KuAI will execute the tasks listed in this task.yaml file sequentially from top to bottom. So let's replace this content with these tasks. Here you can see we're first going to assign a songwriting task to the songwriter agent. And after the output is generated by this songwriter, we will pass it and have a producing task executed by the producer. So what we're doing here is having a songwriter write lyrics and beautiful melodies, and those raw ideas are getting passed to a producer who will compose it into a full song. After saving these updates to our cruise config, we have to link it with the crew class in the crew.py file. So let's come over to the crew class and make the following updates. Our researcher agent has now become a songwriter. And the reporting analyst agent has now become a producer. And let's also update the tasks that we're assigning to them. And the producer is also going to output a file so we can check out the final result, the final song. And let's update the name of this file that it'll spit out the results to, to be called song.md. So zooming out, what we've done here is create a internationally acclaimed songwriting duo and task them with writing us a number one hit song. And we're almost ready to run this crew and have a hit on our hands. But before we do that, let's do one more thing. That being adding in agent ops. So that in addition to having our song written to a file on our local computer, we have a backup in the cloud, as well as, you know, can see some metrics about how this crew generated the song. Here's how easy it is to add agent ops for monitoring our crew. First, come over to app.agentops.ai and sign up if you haven't already. They do have a free tier and that should be enough for what we're doing here. And after you're signed up, come over to the API key section and you should see a default API key that you can copy. And the way that we add this API key to our project is by coming over to the .env file at the root of the poetry project. And on a new line, let's add a entry that reads in all caps, agent ops underscore API underscore key equals. Then we'll paste in the API key that we copied from the agent ops dashboard. After we have that set up, let's come over to the main.py file and add a few lines. These are the lines that we're going to add. Make sure to add them at the top of the file so that by the time you run your crew, tracking is set up by agent ops. But observe how VS Code is telling us there's an issue with this agent ops import. And we can read the warning that says import agent ops could not be resolved. This is because we haven't yet installed the agent ops package from PyPy. So let's do that now by entering this command. I should say before we enter this, that because this project is a poetry project, 
you have to use the poetry add command. If this was a plain old Python project, we would type something or enter something along the lines of pip install agent ops, right? But because this is a poetry project, we have to use the poetry add command. So let's enter this and see what happens. Okay, that looks good. It looked like it worked. And notice that even though we installed the agent ops package with the poetry add command correctly, we still have this warning. This is because by default, VS Code does not know where poetry installs packages. And we can easily fix this minor issue like so. First, we have to find out the location where poetry is installing packages. And we can do that by typing or entering poetry emv info. And you can see this path is where packages are being installed by poetry. So let's copy this path value. And once we have it copied, we'll enter the following keystrokes into VS Code, Shift Command P to open up the command palette. And let's look for an option that reads Python Select Interpreter. Let's select this option and then you'll see a recommended option. I think this might work, but just to make sure it's the same exact one that we just copied, there's also an option that says enter interpreter path. So we can select that, paste in the path value that we just copied, click enter, and that should fix the import error, and it does. In summary, we're using one tool, aka pip, for installing the crew AI CLI, and we're using another tool, aka poetry, for adding packages to the project generated by the Crew AI CLI. I know it's confusing, but welcome to Python development. Finally, let's run this crew and generate a hit song. To review everything we've done up till this point, the agents.yaml file looks great. The tasks.yaml file looks great. The crew.py class looks great. And the main.py file looks great as well. But notice this. This wouldn't affect us if we ran it now, but we like to be clean. So Crew AI allows you to pass in values dynamically when running or kicking off your crew. So if we wanted to use this feature, we would use it like so. Let's say, for example, we wanted to customize the genre that our hit making duo is specialized in. So we could put curly braces and then specify some variable like this, right? And we would also put this template variable over here. And we would pass in a dictionary that includes the value we would like to replace that template variable with. For example, hip hop, right? Maybe country, pop, you get the point, but we're not going to use this feature for now. We're going to keep it simple. You can explore the more advanced features offered by Crew AI outside of this video. And let's delete all this inputs stuff. We're not going to do any training, but let's just delete that, right? Let's delete these template variables from the agents.yaml file. And now let's cook up this number one hit by entering the crew AI run command. Okay, agent ops looks like it's tracking our crew. And we can see that our songwriter is writing a song about total accountability. And here are the lyrics generated by the songwriter. And these lyrics are then going to be passed to the music producer who will, you know, compose a song around them. And that'll leave us with our number one hit. This looks very usable. And we have a copy of this hit in this song.md file for reference. And if we click on this link provided by agent ops, 
you can see we also have a copy of this hit recorded to the agent ops console and we get some additional metrics too for example you can see that the songwriter went first in this session and after the songwriter was finished producer got to work here we can see the cost of generating this song and yeah this is fantastic so now let's actually make this song and see what it sounds like in the mirror i see the truth every scar every bruise Choices that I've made They shape the man that I've become Come on No more running, no more games Standing tall, I'll take the blame No more running, no more games Standing tall, I'll take the blame gonna own it, own my past Every moment, every blast Through the storm, I'll stand so proud Accountability, shout it loud I'll take the weight, I'll bear the cost In this life, I'm never lost Total freedom, it starts within When you own it Okay, so I did adapt the raw output. Let's take a look at the original version of the song. So I did use the name, or I guess I will use the name. I like the name, right? Own it. I did use the same recommended BPM, beats per minute. That's like the tempo of the song, how fast it is. This chord progression I did use. And the chorus, I switched it up a little bit so i adapted what was spit out here so here it had four chords and what i did was similar but i did something a little different and i did use for the most part the lyrics provided for the verse the melody to me didn't make much sense i didn't like the way it fit with the chords so i just came up with a melody that sounded good to me and I didn't use these, and I did use the lyrics for the chorus. I did adapt them a bit. But yeah, these melodies that were suggested for each line of the chorus, I did not use those either. And I only did the first verse and one of the choruses to do the whole song would be a little bit, you know, a little bit much, I think. Let's wrap this video up by doing one final thing. Let's copy this adapted version of the output generated by our crew and send it to a service called Suno. Suno allows you to put in a prompt and it'll generate a song for you. And you can see Suno generated two songs and let's see what the first one sounds like. Wake up in the morning light, gotta get it right. Mirror shows a face unknown, not afraid to fight. Dreams are calling out my name, I won't be the same. Stepping out to start my day, no time for any shame. Running through these city streets, rhythm in my feet. Voices whispering my name, making me complete. Stars are shining in my eyes, lighting. 